<laughs> okay. So um, I think there was a moment where we were talking about like how real you want to get with T or Trent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, like, would you want to keep talking about that? Yeah. Um, authenticity is something that I really pride myself on, and it's something that I really strive for, but it's also something that I really struggle with because it's not easy. It's not easy to let people see you. It's not easy to just put yourself out there without knowing how people will receive you in your raw state. It's different when you talk about things out loud and you hear yourself feeling things. And that is something that has also been very new to me, feelings. And like <laughs> being okay with feelings and having feelings, it's kind of weird, but it's also a very beautiful thing because even though some of these feelings like even so some of these feelings scare me they call me to like really question and call myself out it's interesting that as a woman a 29 year old woman i am just now learning what it feels like to allow myself to be okay with being sad to be okay with being mad, to be okay with being vulnerable, Ugh. to be okay <laughs> with being in love, or to be okay with feeling however I might feel about myself or the people or the things around me, to like really to just be okay with the rawness of my own emotions. Not what I think I should feel, not what I think is safe to feel, not what society might push on me as the appropriate thing to feel, but what I honestly, truly feel. Tea with Trent is kind of like an outlet for me. Like when I first moved up to New York, and uh, like I just got my job and I was going through my breakup and all of the things. Recording a tea with Trent was kind of like one of the things that kind of helped me to come back to myself. And my mom was actually the one who was like, maybe you should get out of the bed today and maybe you should just turn on the camera and just talk and just record a tea with Trent, just see what happens. And so I did. And right after that, it was like, I felt a shift. What I want to do with Tea with Trent is I want it to be something that is inspiring and that moves people, but I also want it to be something that people really feel like they can relate to. Like when people watch Tea with Trent, I want you to feel like we're best friends. Like we're just chilling and just talking. Like there is a real person out there in the world that has experienced something that you have experienced and that has lived through those things, I guess, to tell you about it.